So today I'm working in my lovely studio and I'm working on the house project in Birmingham. So there's lots being done to this project already, but I'm still to just finalise some bits. So you can follow me on that journey today. And also I have a 3D for this. So the 3D is not completed, um, but we do have to do a process, but I'll definitely show you from the start and then you can see where we're at now. And this design will change a lot from now, but you can see where we're at and you know, it gets you to understand what us interior designers do. And you know, there's so much work involved in you know, this career. So yeah, keep tuned and you can start your journey with me today. Just fix myself. So when you're a designer, you get so much free samples and free things, which is absolutely fantastic. I love it all. Um, but today we've had a little delivery of some samples of some different mouldings. These are like 3D mouldings. And I've had these ordered because I'll be using a lot of this in the house project that I'm doing. So if you don't know what moulding is, moulding is something like a 3D camera that goes onto the wall or skirting boards and around the ceiling and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so so this for instance, this could be like a big skirting board. You see? And I would say that's probably about 15, 16 centimetres high. So that'd be a very, very large skirting board. And again, there's more like this here. And then this, this is like a moulding. So these can go around the wall to create frames and things like that. And then these are more decorative. But yes, we're definitely using this one in the house project we're doing in Birmingham. So yes, you have these different kinds of mouldings. You, you need to know what you do when you're using these things, to be honest, um, and put a really good design together. Excuse my messy office, but we'll take a trip over here. And these are some other kinds. You probably remember something like this that used to be like a dado rail, I think, remember? And then these are just like other different styles use but it just depends on like the period of the property and what you'd like to achieve from it as well and then we also have like things like these but these can look really nice in a, in a larger form and yeah they look really good so another kind of wall design that we have is this now this is like on a mdf wood and then the top of it's like a thin shaving of wood. But this, <laughs> it is so, get that one. It is so expensive. But which you can see, they look absolutely fabulous. And this one is actually my favourite. I was going to use this in a project on a curved wall. But it ended up, I think it was... Put it this way, it's going to cost like four thousand. So it was a little bit out of the budget, but it did look good. This last one, which is more of a closer lined panel, and which you can see, this is like proper three D. Yeah, it's good. Hi. So, on the table right here, this is samples for some of my projects. I think I've got one, two, one. on this table, I've got three projects on this table. Um, one being a house project, which is an entrance hallway, a children's 
games room and living room and also I'm doing a guest bedroom <clears throat> of one of my projects that I've been working on for a couple of years. Um, so yeah, so I'll go through this so you can understand what we're looking at. So, go into this design. so this design right here, so this is for the children's games room. So my client likes blues and bright colours like that but with this with this kind of colour palette I decided to go for something kind of still neutral with colour um, and calm because my clients want this room to be used by the children but also by the parents as well so I couldn't make it too much for children so I find that this is a great balance for adults and children so if I just quickly zoom into the wallpaper that we will be going with so which you can see, even though it's a blue wallpaper, it's a beautiful leather effect. There's these other colours as well, which are like this grey. And this tanned leather look as well, which is brilliant. I'll just show you the bigger version. So that will really have a really lovely look on the wall. It reminds me of Jean as well. And then the other one to go with it is this. Now, it'll have a lovely impact to the room, but at the same time, it's just not too much. It's kind of subtle. And then you can see the other colourways here, which are quite nice too. So, yeah, so the games room is going to 100% be having a blue theme. And then we're in there, we've got the desk, we've got a desk being made. And then we've also got a window seat. So, for my window seats and for the desk, these are the kind of colours that we are looking at. So, which you can see, it's a nice cool palette. But yeah, I'm really loving this. And the clients like it too, so I think that's going to be a definite choice. I looked at other colours like these before, but these are just a lot stronger. And I love woven patterns, but for this project, I just wasn't feeling this particular pattern. And then also this geometric pattern, it just wasn't quite working. 100%. Yeah. This. So this is how I put my colour schemes together, and a lot of thought goes into this. So for example, which you probably can't tell to in there, but this is a matte effect. And... This is more of a glossy effect. So this is, I've kind of mixed the textures because I'd love to have like a two-tone of a reflective surface and also a matte surface along with the leather effect wallpaper. And then this as well. But if you, if I scratch this, as you can hear, it's like a fabric and it's literally like, what you can see, it's got grooves in there as well. Let's see if this camera can get it in, can you see? So yeah, these are really, really good. Okay, yeah. Now this one, this wallpaper is like fabric. fabric. So even though we are actually putting this on the wall, we can actually use it on the shelf as well. But yeah. Okay, so there's some little tips for you there. And which one should we go to next? So we are doing, so this project is two bathrooms and if you go to my Instagram page, you will actually see these bathrooms on there, but I'll also, I will post them on YouTube. I'll probably put them, yeah, I'll put them on YouTube for you so that you can see these 3D visuals for this one. So this is for a children's bathroom. Um, it's quite a luxurious house and yeah, we want it so that the children can grow into it. So literally what we've gone for is kind of a black and white theme. So this is a beautiful black and white marble. And on the wall, we're just going to have only a simple subway. But this subway is not like any other subway. I will show you why. I'm trying the office. <laughs> So, 
even though you've got a subway tile, we've got this subway tile and we've got this subway tile. Now the difference is, this one is breveled and then this one is flat, completely flat. Now for this design, I don't want all this breveled edge because it's just going to add too much, what's the word? <laughs> Too much patterns to the bathroom, I don't want that. So I've gone for this very simple flat tile. So when this, so what I'm doing is basically, the floor can be the showstopper, and then this will just be nice and simple around the rest of the bathroom. And we've got some gorgeous fittings going there, which will make this, just make this bathroom pop. So yeah, and we're not sure if we're going silver or gold fittings yet. I'm still waiting for my clients just to make a decision on that. And once they make a decision, then yes, it might be gold, it might be silver, but we'll find out. And then for the same project, we're doing a lovely master ensuite. So, yes, and this is from, I can never say it, poor Salence Alona. I know I'm going to be corrected, but <laughs> some things I just can't say, but yeah. So this tile, I've got a bigger version of this. Let me just move all my junk. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the absolute giant version of the tile that we will be using. So this tile is 600 wide, yeah 600 wide by 1.2 in height and I've not got the other tile here but it's going to be a marble tile which will be matched up with this but then again I will add the 3D visual of this bathroom suite to YouTube so that you can see that and then this monster of a tile <laughs> huge um, this was another option for my clients um, but I will put this bathroom up as well so you can see it because when I design I give my clients two design options so this was one of them and then this is the other design option but honestly both of these bathrooms are absolutely stunning so whichever i mean they've gone for this one but this one was my favorite design but this one was really really beautiful as well so yeah i will update you on those bathrooms once we start work on those we have got the children's living room so the children one of the children are near teen teenage years and then the other child is a little bit younger. So with this design, I kind of give my clients two options. So I did go a little bit more younger on the design by using this dog tooth wallpaper, which is a big print of dog tooth wallpaper. Stunning though. And this is like a champagne and a beige color. So with this design, I was keeping it quite neutral. So the first design was this wallpaper alongside with this. Now, again, like the leather wallpaper that I showed you in the blue, this wallpaper, again, is like fabric as well. But this one, it literally, it's like fur. It's like a really, really soft fabric, and it literally, it's got shimmers to it. So if I was just to pop it there and just try and look at it, you can see how soft it looks. So yeah, so this, so that is actually one colour scheme that I liked. So this is more the younger one. And then the other colour scheme was with this beautiful colour here. I mean, it's like a crocodile skin. And again, I'll be pairing that up with this same plain wallpaper. And then for that room, we may be adding some moulding. We might be adding some moulding, we're not too sure yet. And then I'm still looking at the different paint colours that I'd like to match up with this design. And in the hallway, we're going to have some beautiful, yeah, in the entrance hallway, we're going to have a closet made with some brilliant storage in there so we can put coats, jackets, and everything. And the doors, we thinking we would like to create this is like a tinted mirror so we're going to create mirror doors there's also this gorgeous one here as well which is like 
little speckles. I really like it. So yeah, my clients have not saw this one yet, but I will show it them so they can make a decision. And also in the living room, because we're creating our own feature wall, so it's going to be made up with a beautiful stunning tile that's a meter by one meter. So we're going to fix it on the wall and then we're going to pair it up with this slatty wood. But I don't think not got it here but we're going to be having it with a grey backing instead of the black and that should kind of bring it all together so if I just show you all this together again so you can see how my wonderful mind puts colours together so can you see it's all a nice all goes and I've gone with these beiges because, well, not beige, but like champagne colour, because the children, we want these children to grow into this room. So with this design, we're keeping it like this, but I've got lots of different accessories to add to it, which would be quite, well, they definitely have pots of colour. So as I grow older, you know, my clients just need to change cushion covers and things like that um, to make this design grow with them. And they don't have to keep doing the full decoration again. Um, back to the game room so this was another option I've not got the examples of this one so another option was to go with a lovely like, monochrome black and white and then pairing it up with like a really beautiful yellow and I think these two would have been nice but for me I think that the blue design is definitely a warmer nicer design and on the plan we have on the plan we have these bay windows so i'm just looking at the fabrics which i saw this beautiful one i'm going to look at some more because we need to have matching blinds all the way through so i'm thinking of roman blinds and i'm liking this fabric at the moment because it needs to match every room I'm just thinking this kind of goes there, kind of goes there, you know. So that's where I'm at with that design at the moment. Now, this is a third design I'm working on. So with this one, this is a guest bedroom, and we was kind of gonna go for a Moroccan kind of look. That's what we wanted to do at first. But my client saw one of my other projects and he was like, I want dark and moody. So, there's a lot been changed to this. So this is this was the original wallpaper. And by the way, this ceiling is huge. It's like six meters high. So I thought to have this lovely stripe really all the way at the top would be great, like this image here. But, decided on some crazy 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 wallpaper i can't show you yet um so this color scheme's kind of changed so we're going to have a it's still going to be these colors but the wallpaper is going to have a lot of black in as well and we've got paint going on the one side and we've just got some fantastic lighting and other things going into there and probably some first but the chair the existing bed settee that's in there is kind of like this kind of orange so I'm working with that, but I have absolutely put a stunning design together, which I think my client's going to love. So I will definitely update you on this and we'll be um, visiting that project at some point as well. And then again, I'm just looking at different flooring. These projects. So that's how I kind of put my colour schemes together. Nothing's finalised yet because you know you need to be sure about these things, but we're getting pretty close. But as I say, I feel like that's a definite. Um, take this one away. I believe that's a definite. For me, probably a no no. And my friend's already confirmed this design, so literally we're waiting just to make a start on that. So, yeah, so. 
yeah so when you design this is kind of just this is just a little very little part of it a tiny bit this is just the samples um but yeah there's a lot more involved and i will show you guys a little peek of the 3ds of these and um yes yeah, so you can kind of get a visual to what i've just shown you I design, I love to create 3D visuals like this. Now, this is the Birmingham House project that I've just shown you. Now, I'm only showing you this because this is literally how it all started. And this has changed so much since this. So, this was kind of original design for the children's game area. And when you're designing, things just keep changing, you know, because with these visuals, it gives the client a lovely idea of what it's going to look like and then you know we get to continue to ground on the design but some people they like what's there to start with but then you know sometimes it's a process so yes yeah, so we're playing on this design we're playing around with the floor space with different gaming products and yes the seating and then just other things like the paint and different wall coverings but this is me just testing just to see how things are going to look at the back here we've created a booth seating so that the family can have game times together at the same time the parents have their friends over and you know have a game of cards and things and then to the left we have a moment we'll get there in a moment so to the left we have the children's study area and that i did show you the 3d paneling for that so over here we've created a games wall just here and lots of neon lighting um so yeah we've just got a bit of a baseball sorry, not a baseball basketball a darts board and then what's it called connect four and yeah we'll have a snooker table but that will change into other things as well so yeah that is how that design is coming along but I will keep you updated at the real project so you can see how that looks. This is a design, it's nowhere near completed the 3D anyway, but um, the layout's being created. And this was the design that I showed you that had the orange bed settee in there. So this is kind of what we're going with, but there's still lots to be done and to finalise the colour theme. But yeah, let love it love it love it this one is the family bathroom that i showed you with the black and white floor so this is kind of how this one's going to look but as i said we're not sure if we're going to do it in gold or we're going to do it in chrome but again this is a stunning bathroom and I love all of my designs, to be honest. I love all of them. I'm just going to take this forward a little bit so that you can see the floor. I will put the full 3D, uh, 3D up for you so you can see this. Okay. And this is a little sneak peek of the bathroom I showed you with the wood slatted tile, the large tile sample that I showed you. So this is how this bathroom design will look. And I absolutely love it again, I love it. I love it. But I will post a full video so everybody can see this, okay? This is the second design to the one that I've just shown you. And do you remember the absolutely large tile sample that I showed you? This is a tile that is on this wall in this design. And like I said to you earlier, both of these designs are stunning. And you know, but my clients have decided to go with the first one that I've shown you. And to be honest, they were so torn between these two. But yeah, they're both beautiful. But again, I will post a full video of this onto my YouTube so you can have a look at it. Okay. But yeah, this is how I design and you know I just like to make my clients really happy. I hope you all enjoyed 
today in my studio and looking at my little projects and also my 3ds and you know this is what i do day in day out i absolutely love it i'm living my purpose and yeah i couldn't ask for a better career job whatever you want to call it but i absolutely love it and yeah i love creating beautiful interiors for people and seeing them all happy so thank you for watching and i'll see you all on the next video